All right, we are here at Walgreens and we're looking for some baseball cards. Hopefully we find something good in here. I think they sell Fairfield packs here. We're gonna see what they have. They got baseball cards. It looks like you get 100 baseball cards plus one pack in here. We got Jung Ho on the front of this one. It's like a Gypsy Queen card and a an Adrian Gonzalez there. What is this? You can tell the pack is, this is gonna be 2016 tops. What is this? Daddy? All right, one more Walgreens here today and then we'll open these packs up. Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be opening up four of these 100 count baseball packs. Also included in here is one unopened pack of baseball cards, which you can see here in the cross section. And one in four boxes contains a hit, which would be an autograph card or a relic. So I'm hoping that we have at least some luck and we find a relic. Um, you can see on the side here, you can kind of see what's in here. I don't see anything super thick, which would indicate to me to be a relic card. Uh, but the autograph card could be in here. So let's go and let's start off with this one over here on the right. Start by opening from the top. It's glued pretty well. By the way, my voice, if you can't tell, uh, I am sick. I have a cold. I've been battling it all week. Uh, you probably haven't noticed until now because the videos that I uploaded the past three days were recorded this weekend or earlier. I've got a pretty bad sinus infection. I'm hoping that it is gone by this weekend so I can get out to some more flea markets. We'll see. All right, here we go. Our first box, we have Bobby Abreu on the top, and then Giovanni Soto, uh, Fernando Martinez. These are tops 2013, so there might be some decent rookies in here, especially if these were packaged a few years ago. Johnny Venters, who just made a comeback after his third, Tommy John, Luis Perez, Mike Miner, Aaron Crow, Kyle McClellan, Alan Craig, his career really went south. Travis Ishikawa, Jeremy Hellickson, Nick Swisher, back when he was with the Indians near the end of his career. Ben Zobrist, in his Rays days, he was just eliminated from the playoffs. The Cubs going down in the wild card game to the Rockies. Not many people saw that coming. Next, we have Marco Scudero, and now we have some of the older cards. Shirley Davis, Enrique Wilson, Craig Olson, Eric Plunk, Kent Merker. Let's see if there's anybody of note in here. Uh, Gary Pettis, two Gary Pettis cards. Here's some 1986 tops, but nobody is that good. Ichiro, so there is our first really good card, future Hall of Famer, Ichiro 2005 tops, and anybody else worth mentioning, Wally Backman, who's known for his crazy um, blow-ups as a minor league manager, Stalin Castro, Rick Porcello, Cy Young Award winner, here's our pack, like I said, it's a 2015 tops pack, we'll have to open that up here in a second. See if there's anything else good first. We're back to these 2013 cards again. Seth Smith, Joel Hanrahan, Emilia Bonifacio, James McDonald, Andres Torres. Lots of 2013 tops, but nobody's super good yet. Ichiro is the best card by far. Now the commons from the mid-80s. See if there's anybody good. Rich Gossage, the Goose, Goose Gossage, Hall of Famer. And there's some older cards. Wayne Gross, 1981 tops. Joe Necro had a really nice career. Clint Hurdle. That is an early Clint Hurdle card. 1981, Don Russ. And let's see if there's anything else in here. Wow, they actually put a front row um, filler card in there. They are kind of scraping the bottom there. Fred McGriff should be in the Hall of Fame. Rod Scurry, John Candelaria, the Candyman. And that is about it. Matt Carpenter had 36 home runs this year. All right, so let's open up this pack of 2015 tops. 
See if we get anybody in here. 2015 top. Javier Baez rookie card would be nice. David DeJesus, Travis Wood, Dylan G, Justin Morneau, and Josh Harrison, Andrew McCutcheon, batting leaders card. Zach Britton, he gave up the two runs to the A's. The only two runs the A's would score in the wild card game. Yankees move on also. I'll have to give you my playoff picks in a second here. So that box didn't really get anything outstanding. Next up, let's do this one. It has a 1989 Topps Big Pack in there. But let's see what we get. All right. Starting off with Yasiel Puig. Not too bad. Tom Murphy, rookie card. And then Buster Posey. Okay, this is a pretty good pack. So maybe they are purposely putting better cards. And then we have the entire Pirates team set. Okay. That's weird. Andrew McCutcheon. And then we have all the Pirates 2016 players. Uh, all in here for some reason. That's kind of cool and unexpected. All right, let's see who else is in here real quick. There's the pack. You can see it is 1989 tops big, just like I predicted. And let's see if we get our hit in here. You would think that they would put a hit since they gave you such a crappy pack. Tops Chrome birthdays, Kyle Schwarber. So it seems like the singles in here are a bit better which is nice. Uh, we have some more Topps cards here from more recent years. And there's a Kevin Ploiecki, Future Stars, Lorenzo Kane, Shoemaker, Prado. Oh, it doesn't look like any of these are going to be a hit, an autograph. Uh, real quick, here's these ones, the common cards. See if we get anybody worth even mentioning in this. Jim Edmonds had a nice career. Uh, he was eligible for the Hall of Fame. He's mostly known for his glove, but he did have a nice career hitting. Over 300 career home runs. It's always nice that they put some super old cards in here. Um, here's some, some 2014 tops in the middle. Eddie Murray, 1987 Leaf Hall of Famer. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else that is decent in here. Phil Necro, Hall of Famer. Pitched a long time. Known for his knuckleball. Willie McGee, 1983. That is his rookie card, I think, folks. Willie McGee. That is a good one. I'm going to put that aside. Let's see if that's worth anything in a second. Um, just real quick here. And William O'Pena, Bo Diaz, Dave Schmidt. And that is it for that pack. 80, um, 89 tops big. I used to always look through the packs whenever I would buy these when I was a kid. I think these were 25 cents a, a piece or something like that. You could always see the top card. Like, this is Dave Parker. So I would always look for like Andy Van Slyke or Barry Bonds. This was in three different series, I do believe. And the cards were oversized. So they were the size of um, 1989 um, Bowman. And they always had... Um, these were actually 1988 Topps Big. They always had pictures on the back. Kind of reminds me of like 1955 or 56 Topps, the back cards. And there's really nobody worth anything in there. All right, so if I can ever get this one open, all right, this is a Topps Bunt pack, come to think of it, 2016 Topps Bunt. And now on to the cards themselves. Always kind of hard because they're going all every which way. We have some 2,000 tops in this um, particular box. It would have been nice to find a 2011 Mike Trout. That would be a really nice find. All right, let's see here. Christian Guzman, draft picks card. Um, nobody special there. Bobby Bradley, Aaron Seeley, Brian Jordan, Scott Erickson, 
Travis Lee, Freddie Garcia, Kevin Apier, Jim Leyritz, Sterling Hitchcock. Those were the newer ones. And then they put some of these cards from like the early 90s in every box. These are the kind of cards. When I go on Craigslist and I buy collections, these type are the cards that I get 1000 for a buck on average. Um, these cards are not worth a lot, but every now and then you might find a nice rookie card that's well worth it. Or a Hall of Famer or something like that. Um, so far, nothing really good in this one. I'm going through pretty quick. Here's a nice 1980 Topps card. Three 19... Check that. Three 1981 Topps cards. Now we have some... Oh, CC Sabathia. I think Sabathia might make the Hall of Fame someday. 2013 Topps. He's had a long career, and he has reinvented himself as a more finesse pitcher doesn't have like the 95 96 mile an hour fastball anymore but he knows how to pitch so sabathia just cost himself i think he cost himself five hundred thousand dollars or seven hundred fifty thousand dollars because he purposely threw um at a batter and There's an Alan Trammell and Kirk Gibson. Trammell's in the Hall of Fame. Um, JT Snow. Reggie Jackson. This is a 1988 score. I think score did a little subset about Reggie Jackson in its 88 um, inaugural release. 88 score. Um, let's see if there's anybody else here. Usually the cards on the ends of these are the newer ones. We're back to 2000 tops. There's a prospect card. Anyone good? Russell Brannion was the best out of those three. Harold Baines had a nice career. Jeff Kent leads all second basemen in home runs, but is not in the Hall of Fame. He's got a shot maybe someday of getting in there. Um, a lot of people didn't vote for Jeff Kent, the writers, because Jeff Kent was a mean guy, supposedly. Uh, rubbed a lot of writers the wrong way. Didn't really cooperate. Um, with interviews all that often. So let's open up this pack of top bunt. These packs usually would go for about 99 cents. You could buy them usually at uh, Dollar Tree or something like that. John Gray, future of the franchise. David Wright. David Wright just had his last game ever. Uh, kind of sad. George Brett and Troy Tulowitzki. So that takes us to our last box. And Jung Ho is on the front of this. Jung Ho Gung came back and played the last three games of the season. Got six at bats, uh, two hits. So he en ended up with a 333 batting average. And Jung Ho always put on a show in batting practice. Uh, kind of unfortunate what happened to him. Um, that just shows you to make better decisions. All right, so here is what we got Gypsy Queen, Jung Ho Gung. And now we have some cards from 2012 tops. Brendan Ryan, Marlon Bird, Jim Johnson, Jaime Garcia is still around and pitching. Uh, Nolan Arenado, that's a nice one. CJ Wilson. Uh, what else do we have here? Another stolen Castro. That's the second Castro that I've received. That same exact card. R.A. Dickey, CJ Wilson, Ryan Vogelsong. Chris Sale. Chris Sale is on track to be a future Hall of Famer if he keeps it up for another five years or so. Freddie Freeman rookie card. Whoa, that is a nice one. That That's the best one by far. Freddie Freeman rookie card, 2011 tops. And a Mark Trumbo rookie card to boot right after that. This one has got to be sleeved and put in a top loader. That is in perfect condition, too. All right, well, even if I don't get a hit, I feel like that is a hit in itself. Freddie Freeman, one of the greatest players in the game today. Probably going to finish in the top three in MVP voting. And Freddie Freeman just sitting in the uh, sitting in the middle here. American League Astros Heritage Card. It's 2017. Jason Worth, Corey Dickerson. Chris Davis, who had the worst ever season for a batter with a 168 batting average and 522 at-bats. Absolutely terrible. Hopefully he figures it out because 
He is still owed $94 million over the next, I think it's four years. This is a pretty good pack. They have a lot of 2017 cards in here. So I don't know if these packs were packaged at different times, but this one seems to have a lot newer cards in it. Um, Roger Davis, Homer Bailey, another Davis, John Jaso before he had his long dreadlocks, Hong Chi Kuo, Nigel Morgan. I remember this guy. Um, he's best known, I guess, for the low light where he tried to catch a ball, jumped and hit off his glove, and he slammed his glove down and just let the ball go. And the batter just ran around the field from inside the park home run, and he's just out in center field sulking because he didn't catch the ball. You'll have to look that one up. And here is the rest. Oh, Clayton Kershaw. This is a good pack. Pieces of greatness. Oh, we got a hit. It is a game-used bat. So, one in four. This was our fourth pack, and we did get a hit. Pieces of greatness. Bowman Heritage. Game-used bat. And it is from Milton Bradley. It says, congratulations. You've just received an authentic game-used bat relic card from Milton Bradley. 2006 Bowman Heritage. So... That is nice. I don't even think that's the best hit in the box. That Freddie Freeman was my favorite card by far. Uh, we might as well just go through and see what else is here because there might be something else really good. Another rookie card. Vance Worley, Coco Crisp, Jason Hamill, Since You Chew, Carlos Carrasco. I think that's his second year card or third year card. Josh Harrison. Some 89 Donruss. Nobody good in there. Here's some more of these ones. I think if we're going to find anyone good, it's going to be in these newer ones from 2012, 2013 or so. Craig Kimbrell, Donruss Elite. That is a nice looking card. Santiago, Tim Lincecum. Back when he was still decent. Yvonne Nova, Drebeck, Juan Di Rodriguez. Cody Bellinger. This is a Leaf. Is that a minor league card? I think this might be a minor league card. 2017. That's another decent card. This pack right here was really good. The other ones were average at best. But I'm liking one. Hunter Strickland, rookie card. Michael Taylor, rookie. Christian Walker rookie, and Jose Perello rookie. So a really, really decent pack there at the end. Let's see what is in. I forgot to open up this one pack here, Top Series 2. I kind of put it aside and forgot about it. So let's open that up to conclude things here. Uh, Raul Mondese, Chris Medlin, uh, Danny Espinosa, Will Smith, Luis Valbuena, Zach Cozart. Swihart, Billy Joe Armstrong, we discover tops, Stephen Vogt, Mike Moustakis, and Tampa Bay Rays team card. So that's everything I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'm better in the next couple days. I'm going to try to get lots of sleep and get over this cold so I can get back out to the flea markets this weekend. Anyway, if you'd like to buy this as a lot, I'm going to sell all of these cards, all 400 cards. It's actually probably 400 plus when you include the uh, tops packs that were in here. Every single card that I pulled, I'm putting on eBay as one giant lot, and I will sell them all for what I paid, 20 bucks. Okay, everybody, the giveaway for the month of October to be given away November 1st is this Donruss 2015 factory sealed uh, hobby box. There are a guaranteed three hits in here, autographs and relics. Uh, you might find some really good stuff in here. All you have to do to win this box is simply comment on each video. The more you comment, the more entries you have. And I'll choose one finalist per video that I post throughout the month of October to be in a raffle on November 1st to win this. I'm going to give you guys some choice this month. If you don't want this, you can also choose a 2018 top set. I did buy two of those. I gave one away last month. So you can pick this instead of that. Or you can pick the September giveaway um, that was given away 
September 1st, a Jacob deGrom $125 jersey. I have large, extra large, and double X, brand new, never worn. I bought a whole bunch of them a long time ago before he was good, and now he's the Cy Young in the National League. So to win this, it's simple. All you have to do is watch my videos, subscribe, like the videos, and comment as much as you can. The more comments, the better for your entries. Thank you very much for watching, everybody.